Welcome to Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. I'm Scott Jordan. This is Arena Championship Series West from the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon. Here's the driver lineup through three events so far. Gravedigger's taking two overalls, Thunder Rovers with the other, and Matt Cody and Tony Oaks each have 80 points through the weekend here in Portland. One more overall event championship is up for grabs here today at the Moda Center. Up first, JCB Racing in round one. Monster Mutt, Rottweather, Gravedigger, Megalodon, Velociraptor, Jurassic Attack, Thunder Rovers, and El Toro Loco versus Earthshaker. And now let's get to the track here at the Moda Center for JCP Racing. Our first matchup is Berto Trevino up against Matt Cody in Gravedigger. Matt, 6-1 here in Portland with one racing win. Eight points up for grab. We got our first green light, and we are off and running here at the Moda Center. Great look at the turning box. Matt Cody avoids it, and Berto Trevino avoids the turning pot as well. Matt Cody going to go over. Gravedigger clips the turning box. I spoke too soon, and Gravedigger ends up on the side. Monster Mutt Rottweiler going to move on. Next up in round one with Team Throttle Monster, Devin Whitfield, Velociraptor, Ashley Sanford, and Megalodon, the former Monster Jam co-rookie of the year. Our second race here in Portland, and a great corner there for Devin Winfield goes wide. Ashley Sanford takes it tight, hits the brakes. Megalodon around in the final corner, pushed to the finish line. And a great finish there for both drivers in the end. Devin Winfield, Velociraptor advances to the semis. This is Tony Oaks at Thunder Roars. He goes up against Dalton Widener in Jurassic Attack. Tony with a 3-3 three three record on the weekend. Dalton 6-1 already with a couple racing wins. Trying to make it three out of four. And here we go, two of the best in the business on the arena circuit doing battle here. Thunder Roars against Jurassic Attack. Three-wheel turn there for Jurassic. And another sharp corner. Tony Oaks hitting the brakes in the far side. Dalton Widener advances into the semifinal round. Jurassic Attack moving on. Our final race here in round one, MJ Solorio, the rookie out of California, Del Toro Loco, going up against Joe Yuri, coming back with Team Throttle Monster in Earthshaker. Winner takes the final spot in the semis. El Toro Loco off the starting line faster, and it is MJ Solorio with the slight advantage. Final turn here coming up. El Toro Loco keeps it tight on three wheels, and El Toro Loco finishes off. MJ Solorio going to the semifinal round. Let's take a look at our bracket here at JCB Racing. Monster Mutt Rottweiler meets Velociraptor Jurassic Attack up against El Toro Loco. And the two winners of this matchup will head up onto the pod to meet in our JCB Racing Final. Up next, Berto Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler against Devin Winfield in Velociraptor. Velociraptor pulls to the starting line. And we got a green light. Here we go, Monster Mutt Rottweiler off the line. Devin Winfield with a great corner. He is on rails right now. Monster Mutt Rottweiler trying to catch up, coming across the final turn. And Devin Winfield crosses the finish line, but the turning box was taken out of the chalk line. That's a penalty, and Monster Mutt Rottweiler will advance. Up next, Dalton Wider, Jurassic Attack going up against MJ Solorio and El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco with a great start. Dalton Waters got to catch up here off the line. And El Toro Loco up on two wheels, clips the log stack. And it's not going to matter anyway. Dalton Wider will get the win. And Jurassic Attack will advance to the final round. We are going to check out our JCB Racing Bracket. As we move into the finals, it is going to be Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Bertel Trevino up against Dalton Wider in Jurassic Attack. The winner gets the first eight points of the day and will take the lead in our BKT overall point standings. Dalton Wider, Jurassic Attack on the track. Bertel Trevino, Monster Mutt Rottweiler as well. Last time they met in the finals was back in Wichita. Dalton Wider took that win. And here we go. Final race is going. Dalton Wider has a slight lead here into the final corner. Look at him slipping around the track. And he whips Jurassic Attack across the finish line and Dalton Wider gets another racing win his third on the weekend and he is going to add eight points as we take a look at our first BKT overall point standings of the day so Dalton Wider out in front he's got eight points with the JCB racing win Berto Torino Monster Mutt Rottweiler with seven El Toro Loco and Velociraptor each get four for making it to the semis and then Gravedigger Megalodon Thunder Roris and Earthshaker each with two points so Dalton Wider off to another great start here at the Moda Center in Portland one down and three to go the first one is in the books in Portland we are just getting started the Great Clips two wheel skills challenge is next on Arena in 30 powered by Spinmaster Welcome back to Reading 30 powered by Spin Master from the Moda Center in Portland. 
Next is a Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Each driver has the opportunity to wow the crowd with a maneuver using only two wheels. They get two attempts to do it. They're judged by fans in attendance on creativity and execution. Here is our top competitors right here. Matt Cody, Gravedigger coming off the pod right down into the ramp, faces it beautiful angle, gets the nose wheelie into the moonwalk, slips it back up the pod, trying to get it all the way across here. Great look at that log stack, backs it down and ends up on all four BKT tires. Tries to come back up the ramp, but that first attempt done, 7.653 was the score from Matt Cody in Gravedigger. Tony Oaks in Thunder Roar is trying to get a win here. The Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. He's got two already on the weekend. Slides the truck all the way up to the pod. Comes all the way across. Same obstacle as Gravedigger right into the nose wheel. He doesn't stop at all. Keeps the momentum going. And now you might see that rear steer toggle switch moving to get those back two BKTs up and over. And he has got a great length here of the truck all the way across. Slides it out. Accelerates a little bit. Finds a nice angle. Clips it back down 8.683. And Tony Oaks took the lead right there. Joe Urey in Earthshaker out of Missouri trying to get on the board. Brings Earthshaker up into a huge popper right up under the center pod, right into a stop. He complete control of the truck. Hits the throttle back out a little bit, lands it back on all four BKT tires. 7.715 7 for Earthshaker. And finally, a racing winner, Dalton Wider, Jurassic Attack, trying to go two for two. Brings the truck up over the log stack into a popper. There's a big one right there. Jurassic Attack gets it up. And Dalton Wider now slips it back into a moonwalk. Going to edge it out into a nose wheelie as well. He's got a lot of room here on the back side of this pod. But he is going out even closer in the nose wheelie. There's the moonwalk. There's the rear steer back and forth as the back two wheels start saying hi to the fans here at the Moda Center. Showing off Dalton Wider trying to get his second win of the day. And he has got it stopped beautifully. 180-degree angle of the truck. Leans it down, trying to get up on one wheel. And Dalton Wider really showing off here for the fans. As the clock ticks down, he's got 20 seconds to land this thing. Steering wheel out of the window. Exclamation point on this incredible maneuver. And Dalton Wider with a 9.642. That is enough to get the win. And that is his second win of the day. He is off to a great start. With win number two, Dalton's going to add eight more points to his totals. We check out our second BKT overall point standings. He's got 16, doubling down on a perfect event so far. Monster Mutt Rottweiler with 10, Thunder Roarus 9, El Toro Loco, Nurse Shaker each with 8, Gravedigger with 7, Velociraptor with 6, and Megalodon with 3. Well, Jurassic Attack has been dominant, but will the perfect event continue for Dalton Wider? Find out what Arena and 30 powered by Spin Master continues next. You're watching Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. This is Arena Championship Series West. And next up in Portland, the Sky Willie competition. Fans in attendance once again scoring based on height, wow factor, and execution. Here are the top four competitors. Berto Trevino comes off with a huge Sky Willie slap Willie combo, and he gets a 7.467. Matt Cody, Gravedigger with a front clip off, coming in hot right up. Vertical Sky Willie gets the back two wheels up, lands it right on the wheelie bar. This is a tombstone. And now he's got the front steering wheel just back and forth, waving to the fans. We saw Dalton Water do it with the rear two BKTs. Now Matt Cody getting it done with the front two. He's going to spin around a little bit, runs out of room, saves it on one wheel, and back on all fours. Matt Cody with a great save and an 8.951 takes the lead. Tony Oaks in Thunder Roar as he has two Sky Wheelie wins on the weekend, trying to make it number three. Big time air, biggest air of the day so far, bounces it back and ends up down on the pod. 8.556, not enough to take the lead, but a great wow moment nonetheless. And then finally, MJ Solorio El Toro Loco comes up, trying to take it away from Gravedigger, gets the smoke coming out of the nose of the Crazy Bull at the right moment, 8.432. And that means our Sky Wheelie winner, Matt Cody in Gravedigger, he picks up his first Sky Willie win of the weekend, and we take a look at our BKT overall point standings. Jurassic Attack still out in front with 19. Thunder Roris with 16. Gravedigger with a win gets 15. Monster Mutt Rottweiler with 15. El Toro Loco 14. Earthshaker with 10. And Megalodon and Velociraptor each with seven points apiece. We've reached the final competition of the day. It's freestyle to get a score. Drivers must complete the first 15 seconds of the run. Fans want to see him use every obstacle on the sixth side of pod. They want creativity, technical moves, combinations. Of course, a wow moment or two. And up first out of Corpus Christi, Texas, riding for Team Throttle Monster, Berto Trevino. And he starts off the run with a great floater jump. 
Alberto whips the truck back around, coming back to the pod here. Comes off a different angle, nice air again. No brake check necessary. Slides down over the log stack. The three freestyle competitions so far on the weekend have been won by Gravedigger, Thunder Roars, and Megalodon. Berto would love to be the fourth winner out of four tries here as he comes up again. Nice air, nearly clears the pot, clips it back into a nose wheelie. So a nice combo move on the save. Now slowed his way up back to the pot again, trying to find an angle here that suits him. Goes up again, looking for a popper. Berto Trevino throwing some two wheel skills and a freestyle gets it up on the popper. Time is running out here for Monster Mount Rottweiler. Time is done as we check out our original Super Glue. Glue to the action replay. There's the floater jump that got it started. 6.950 is the score for Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Our next competitor out of Fullerton, California, the 2023 Monster Jam Co-Rookie of the Year, Ashley Sanford in Megalodon. She has a freestyle win here already, winning the last event, trying to double down, make it two in a row. Big time here there from Megalodon, comes up on the lip of the pod, slides down in a wheelie. Former Top Fuel drag racer now at Monster Jam, a graduate at MJU, had to wait and be patient for the phone call, finally got it, and then comes out and wins the Rookie of the Year with Chris Kohler, and now comes off on the center lane, all the way across the ramp, back down, into a nose wheelie, 180 degrees, doesn't hold it for long, sets the truck right back down, now deep into this corner of the Moda Center, she's got a lot of room, hits the throttle, comes back up, big air, and over, and jump. Now on the near side of the track, comes back again over the tire stack. That's a floater and over end as well. Hands up with the front two wheels into the lip of that pod. Is able to catch it and save the truck. Keeps all control to herself. And now comes up again into the pod. Again, back down. So just one jump after another. All six sides using all of them. And Ashley Sanford's run is over. Take a look at the original Super Glue. Glue to the action replay. There's the nose wheelie. And there's a 7.506. Megalodon has taken the freestyle lead. Now Dalton Wider, Jurassic Attack out of Knoxville, Tennessee. He's the current overall event leader, trying to hang on. Had a rough go in the Sky Wheelie competition after winning the first two competitions of the day. Taking a lead here in freestyle will go a long way to clinching the overall event championship. He's won racing twice so far. He's got a skills win, and that is done. It's been a quiet weekend so far for Dalton Wider. He's had a great season, though, all the way around. A great career, a young career so far as he has stormed onto the scene. Now it is third season on an Arena Championship Series, riding for Team Throttle Monster. Front clip off of Jurassic Attack. And now Dalton Wider having some issues here with the truck, trying to get it right. You see that front left wheel not rotating as fast as the other three. Trying to cross thread his way across the pod, hangs on the edge of it, making full go of that sway bar. Now comes back around again. He's got the throttle going, hits the brakes, comes off, cross threads his way up, gets across the side of that pod, and then down the ramp. And now Dalton Water lining up for the tire stack. Nice air there as well. Gets it back down, tried for a slap wheelie combo. And into a donut, why not? And that is going to do it. Take a look at the original Super Glue. Glue to the action. Replay Dalton Wider. Not going to win his third competition with that score. Gets a great wheelie combo and a 7.134 as he tries to win the overall event championship. We still got a long way to go here. More high flying freestyle action is next with Arena Championship Series West on Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. Welcome back to Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. We are at the Moda Center, Portland, Oregon, as we continue on with freestyle with Arena Championship Series West. Here is Matt Cody in Gravedigger. That body completely, absolutely shredded. We saw the front clip missing earlier. Now the body is gone. He trails the overall event lead by four. He has a freestyle win here already, and now taking the lead here with set him well up for the overall event championship. Matt Cody out of Williamsport, Maryland, rode for a long time with Vodders Motorsports, a team out of Hagerstown. 
Came back last year in Gravedigger on the International Series. Continues to run on the International Series as well as Arena Championship Series West. And there's a score to beat 7.506 from Ashley Sanford and Megalodon. Looking for her second freestyle win here at Portland. Matt Cody has a nice run brew and went for a donut. Stopped after one revolution. And you see that chalk line here deep on the track at the Moda Center. That's the bounce line. He's got to keep this truck in balance. He does so. Chop it away at the Portland dirt. And now Gravedigger comes up. Go for a backflip. And he got it. Out of nowhere from this angle. Couldn't see it coming. But Matt Cody had his eyes on the prize. And he nailed it. What a way to end the run. Take a look at the original super glue. Glue to the action replay. A beautiful backflip. Lands it. Sticks the landing. And gets a 9.417 up on top of the truck. Well deserved. The run of the night so far. 9.417. Now the driver who has to follow that is Joe Urey in Earthshaker, riding for Team Throttle Monster. Matt Cody's run going to be a tough act to follow, but Joe has experienced debut back in 2019. Has driven quite a few trucks, Zombie Soldier, Fortune, Rockwell, Red, Kamikaze, and Ice Cream Man. Now back in Earthshaker, continuing on in Arena Championship Series West. Joe Yuri comes up a little bit off to the side, trying to make something happen. When you got a score to beat, such as the one Matt Cody just threw down, you got to make something happen. Throw the truck into chaos mode. See what you can do. Big top brake check, Skywheelie for Earthshaker. And over and bounce, saves it right on the edge of that pod. And now Earthshaker still has some momentum, so a great save there from Joe Yuri. Now comes back, doesn't miss any rhythm at all. Keeps his throttle rhythm going, tried for a slap wheelie on the backside of the pod. Earthshaker out deep, slinging the dirt here at Portland. Another big time jump here. Joe Yuri getting air after air after air on everything he hits. And now goes for another donut, slings it around a little bit as well. And that is going to do it for Earthshaker. Take a look at the original super glue, glued to the action replay. There is the beautiful Sky Wheelie with the brake check and the bounce 7.548 for Earthshaker. Now we go to Team Throttle Monster teammate Devin Winfield in Velociraptor out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And if you never watched this series before, you may not know too much about Devin. He's been around the sport for a long time. He is officially in his rookie season, but he's been with Team Throttle Monster now for a few years after working for Monster Jam as a USHRA safety official. He's done so many jobs with Monster Jam, working his way into a spot with Team Throttle Monster, and he is shy when he's had the opportunity in that blue Velociraptor truck. There's your score to beat Matt Cody. Gravedigger has the freestyle lead. Devin Winfield would love to get his first freestyle win of the season here. And over end, not much air, but he keeps the momentum. Now he's got to shift it back over, make a hard right turn. Down over the log stack goes Velociraptor. Now going to try to slide the truck back in. Instead goes for a donut. And you see one or two revolutions here. That's why we have the Sky Wheelie competition. So you don't see too many donuts here in an arena like this, but Devin Winfield throwing one down with two revolutions. And now Velociraptor coming in hot again, full throttle up onto the pod, nice air, and then gets it back down. And that'll do it. Take a look at the original super glue. Glue to the action replay for Devin Winfield and Velociraptor 6.532. Our next competitor out of Rialto, California, rookie MJ Solorio in El Toro Loco. Starts it off with a big sky wheel. He gets El Toro Loco all the way up across the skyline here inside the arena. And if none of you ever been in an arena, they got skylines up there as far as the scoreboard will let it. He went all the way up as far as he could get El Toro Loco. Great job getting the run started with a wow moment. And now MJ Solorio get another sky wheel. He comes right back. So he's going back to the well again and again and again. Why not try to beat that Gravedigger score? El Toro Loco off to the side of the pod. Comes back up to the middle, clips the back wheel. Great rhythm here for MJ Solorio. He continues to hammer down that throttle and he continues to get speed across this pod. We've only seen one backflip so far from Matt Cody and Gravedigger. That gave him the lead. El Toro Loco almost went over, but MJ Solorio able to make the save. Another Sky Wheelie up over the log stack for El Toro Loco. Debuted in 2023 back in Duluth, Georgia. Does have a racing win to his career into a stoppy and a moonwalk back up of the pod. Check out MJ Solorio throw it in the moonwalk all the way back. Take it back, kid. And here is the super glue glue to the action replay. There's that sky wheelie one or two. He threw in there 7.931 is the score for El Toro Loco.
Our final competitor, Tony Oaks, U.S. Army veteran in Thunder Roris. If he wins freestyle, he wins the event championship. If he doesn't, it goes to Matt Cody. He's got one freestyle win already on the weekend. He's got one overall event championship coming into this event through three. He had tied Matt Cody with 80 points. This could very well be the tiebreaker here in this freestyle run to see who wins the weekend here at Portland. Tony Oaks made a name for himself driving Soldier Fortune Black Ops. That truck meant a lot to him as he is a U.S. Army veteran with four combat deployments, certified Apache helicopter technician, stunt motorcycle crew chief from Marvel Universe Live, and the 2019 Arena Freestyle of the Year winner. So Tony Oaks has quite the resume, branching in many different categories. Now in Monster Jam, finished second on Arena Championship Series Central in 2022, fourth on that series last year. And now flying high here in Portland, comes up, makes the catch into a nose wheelie, one wheel into the moonwalk, and Tony Oaks just climbing his way back, trying to get this freestyle whip, pulling out all the stops, whips the truck back down on all four BKT tires, and that'll do it. Here is the super glue, glued to the action replay. What a save into the nose wheelie, into the moonwalk, one wheel, 9.176, unfortunately will not get the freestyle win. Tony Oaks, though, gave it a great run here. 9.176, again, the score. Just a little short here of the freestyle win and the overall event championship. But what a move to close out the final competition here at the Moda Center. Matt Cody gets his second straight competition win. He gets eight more points as we take a look at our final BKT overall event leaderboard. 23 is the score for Gravedigger. 23 for Thunder Roars. Freestyle breaks the tie. Jurassic Attack, 22. El Toro Loco, 20. Monster Mutt Rottweiler with 17. And that means that Matt Cody wins the event championship. Let's go down to Sarah. A huge congratulations to our overall event champion and freestyle winner, Matt Cody. Portland, Oregon, let me hear you! Uh, man, I'll tell you what, my first time ever coming out this way, taking three of four overall event championships. Man, I'm on cloud nine right now. I'm gonna carry that momentum all the way to next week to Vancouver. Man, you guys have been great. It's been awesome. Thank you for coming out, supporting Monster Jam, supporting Grave Digger, and supporting me. Thank you guys, have a good night. So Matt Cody takes three out of four in Portland after a slow start today. He won the final two competitions, which was enough to close out the week. And with a big win for Team Grave Digger, Arena Championship Series West will continue. And for more information, follow us on social media at Monster Jam. And for everything sport-related, go to MonsterJam.com. That is all the time we have from Portland. I'm Scott Jordan. I'll see you right here next time on Arena in 30, powered by Spinmaster.